but there's a, there's been so much change in the world and times are tough um that you have to i think now see beyond that and really look into the person because if you live at home in your 20s and your 30s in american culture it seems weird but a lot of other cultures that's normal um we just went through a two-year pandemic um we also are in a credit in an incredibly good time right now to where um you know saving and trying to work towards your own dreams or your own ambitions is better than exhausting yourself for your own um self-security um so i really say it depends on the person it depends on why they're living at home um because you know if you're living at home but you're still somebody that's you know got a got a job or is working towards the future you know and your life is together that's a completely different thing than just living on your parents couch and not ever trying to be better oh thank you pinos i was living at home but busting my ass at multiple jobs when i was 20. see yeah we can't help who we fall in love with you can help who you fall in love with 100 percent. you just will only seek out the things that are going to make you better <laughs> but i'm a little crazy like that okay let me add you i mean like i i'm like i'm like you know for instance, my brother is like, hey, I want to like connect with one of our other brothers, like because he's our family and I really miss like, you know, and I think it'd be good just so he knows he has family. And I'm over here like, let me be honest with you. You're my family because we're connected. We've connected and we've created such a good bond. So you're my family. But just because he's a half brother and you have this longing because the way you understand family is different doesn't mean he's mine and i i unfortunately don't have the will to want to connect with him in that that way because it's he's it's not the same thing to me so words words to me and the way i choose my my partners or my uh friends or my family is so different because how i grew up um and and what i've been through make it rain come on it's definitely not out of range. Come on, PlayStation. Oh, thank you, Mr. Frosty, for the 100 bitties. Have a good class. Have a good class day, Valeria Zero. <laughs> thank you, the SJ Shark. That whole friends and family are the family you choose thing? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it, it really is because... Um, I, I think that a lot of the times, um, a lot of the th a lot of the times, uh, your family uses we're family as an abuse, as an attack upon your emotional state with them, or as an abuse on your emotional state. They use it as a thing of power. They use it as a form of control. Um, you know, you've got to go work so hard in school and exhaust yourself and not live your dreams because you have to make our family look good by going to the college that would be the best for our family and this um you can't leave this alcoholic uh mom and parents because we're family we have to stick together um so i yeah choose a hundred percent my family and uh they choose me back I don't uh, allow myself to have those those words used as a power play over me. So I think to certain people, I come off a little cold or something because of that. Come on, monitor. Just stay on the fucking PlayStation. Do what I want. So you sometimes feel lonely? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't say I feel lonely because of family or the lack of family, 100%, that's definitely not it. The things I'm going through now, um, I'm gonna add you, Dingo. 
the things I feel now or the lon loneliness I feel now is nothing to do with um, family. It has everything to do with the power within myself. I'm lacking that I'm I'm trying to to gain insight into, you know, it has nothing to do with any other people. Oh, you have like the easiest username. OK. Oh, wait. Oh, where are you friends? Family doesn't mean love all the time. Exactly. So what's the overall game plan for tonight? Um, so I'm going to play some uh, Returnal Dingo Beth right now. I'm going to join his party. Um, if you guys don't know, Tingo is a mod. He's a super awesome person. He streams and he's got one of the sexiest voices on Twitch. Um, one of the most polite voices on Twitch. And if you don't know what that means, then you should check out. I don't know. How, how often are you streaming, Tingo? Um, <laughs> and then uh, some Final Fantasy. All right, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Hello? Okay, so my hello. I think my mic is lighting up when I'm when I'm talking, so that's good. I'm wearing pasties actually, so all the lumps that you see happening all around here is not my nipples, they're pasties. I gotta get back into it. Background noise has been making me self conscious on the stream side of things. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to hear you because I don't know how I have it. It's picking you up through the controller. Yeah, so how do I hear him then? Do I have to put something into my controller? Should I get another headset and like put it into my controller? And have like one and one? Oh, but you can hear me now, right? Okay, so I think what I'll do, because I can, I'm talking to Mike. Hello, are you there, controller? 